Yo, yo, yo. What the fuck going on? Welcome to the motherfucking Young Schwetzel goddamn fucking power hour with your bitch. We're smoking flower. We're talking tower. The goat. Capricorn on your bitch. All right, I, I'm just fucking around, y'all. I, I just wanted, to, <coughs> I just wanted to show y'all that shit, uh, and uh, just be myself a little bit. Fuck around in this bitch, cause you know, fuck it, man. What's the point of living life if you ain't goddamn having a little bit of fucking fun every once in a while? Motherfuckers be tweaking out here, but yo, check it out, bro. This video is going to be about how to manage your feelings and emotions and mentality slash thought forms. And that's all day, bro. All day, that's what you need to be doing is learning how to strengthen this. And uh, disclaimers before we get into the video. If you ain't seen my past videos, you wouldn't know this. But I don't, I don't claim no fucking, no teacher role. I'm not no guru, no fucking life coach, none, none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to uh, help others, bro. Uplift humanity, dog. I'm here to fucking uplift humanity. That's all the fuck I want to do, bro. I don't give a fuck about the money, clothes, hoes, motherfucking nothing, bro. I want to help people. I want a good relationship with somebody who loves himself as much as I do. So I guess I do care about the hoes a little bit. I was lying. <clears throat> but, uh... And also fucking escaping this bitch, bro. Escaping this fucking goddamn dead-ass being that we be fucking living in, bro. Like, I'm the fuck out of here, bro. And I ain't never coming back to this fucking earth type shit, bro. The, like, what the fuck, man? This is like psh, crazy, bro. I don't I don't have a I don't have a strong desire for nothing except for helping others, literally. That's the only thing. And fucking love and getting the fuck up out of here dedicated to myself. That's about it. For real. Big facts. But yeah, we go. We gonna get into uh, this managing your feelings and emotions and mentality slash thought forms. And the reason you need to know this shit, the reason you need to uh, strengthen these fucking abilities right here. I just got some talking points. We just gonna fucking freestyle. Like as y'all can see, it's not even, not even half a page, bro. We we got eight uh, we got eight talking points in this bitch. But yeah, we gonna get into this, and and you need to uh, strengthen your fucking. Abilities and get your goddamn mind and shit and your fucking emotions back Because you don't want to be no fucking weak-ass individual out here, especially right now, bro And 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 if you can fucking like perceive energies and feel energies and shit like that You know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about even if you ain't like spiritual like that You know what I mean? You know exactly what I'm talking about when you know It's just a weak-ass weak-minded ass individual around. It's just like it's just like motherfucker is we're on a fucking team playing tug of war, bro, and I'm fucking, I'm gritting and fucking crawling, dog, and we got two fucking 400 pound motherfuckers on the other side, and fucking you is over here, goddamn, slipping. You know what I'm saying? You you over here slipping, so I pretty much gotta hold the whole weight of the fucking relationship and the and the uh, conversation. So, you yeah, you don't you don't want to be a weak minded. Weak emotion, weak feeling, weak spirited ass motherfucker out here, especially now. So it's time to uplift everybody. Check it out. <clears throat> the number one thing that I got on this list that ties all things together. So this first aspect is going to tie in with everything. And this is going to be meditation, of course, meditation. But I'm going to put y'all on to where... Y'all don't get fucking lost real quick because I've already been there and I've already fucking experienced this shit and was lost off the shit. So check it out. Meditation, bro. A lot of people be getting the fucking uh, shit twisted, okay? Because the way that uh, Easterners, Eastern continents like Hinduism, Buddhism, shit like that, the way they be talking about uh, chakras and shit like that is uh, wrong, and I, I don't know exactly, like, I know a lot of them Tibetan monks just be on straight fucking, uh, straight, uh, mindfulness meditation and shit like that. Uh, so I guess they do get a form of, uh, a form of clearing their minds, you know what I'm saying? But... 
They also be practicing other forms of meditation. <coughs> That's got shit on their mind, which <coughs> which is okay to do too. But <coughs> it's like, damn, why <coughs> why close your eyes and go into lotus position to meditate on something you can do with your eyes open? You know what I'm saying? But when <coughs> when you want to, when you do a meditation, you just this is putting yourself uh, into a spot where uh, you just is fully clear, bro. You you just block out everything, even to the point where you can fully block out sound. Like like there's there's that fucking uh, what what people would call like the room tone. Like you know what it is when it's <coughs> when it's fucking literally pure silence, but you can just still hear that slight something. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can get to the point where you can cut all that shit off. Uh, but yeah, they got they got the interpretation of, of the chakras all fucked up. And uh, I could sit here and explain that, but I just fucking, number one, broke this shit all down and recorded that whole long ass fucking hour long uh, video. And now it's gone, lost in the fucking cosmos. I'll probably find it fucking 2,000 years from now in some whole other ass realm of reality. Somebody will fucking pop up with some fucking light and be like, yo, remember this? And I'm gonna be like, <coughs> what the fuck? Look at that weak ass shape and form <coughs> I was in. But yeah, I I'm not gonna sit here and break this down because I do I do understand it and I do get it, but uh, what's it called? I'm gonna just send y'all to Dolo's channel. I'll, g I'll give you a brief fucking, a brief breakdown, bro, but uh, but yeah, uh, go check out Dolo's channel because he he can definitely break it down way be way better than I can. I'm definitely good at fucking uh, I'm good at uh, the meditation aspect, aka shutting everything the fuck off, bro. But uh, I'm still a little lost on the chakras and like getting everything fucking flowing correctly and shit like that, and not getting lost into one and being able to jump and the f fucking flight chakra that this motherfucker just now introduced that I, I didn't even have no idea about. So. Uh, yeah, it, it's just, just, uh, I'll, I'll put his channel link in the description. He'll definitely, he definitely breaks that down, uh, way better. You can, uh, go in and look at his videos on chakra work, meditation, both. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of misinformation out here. I just don't want y'all to get lost. And I ain't trying to scare nobody by saying this. I'm telling y'all, I'm trying to put y'all in the right perspective because, and I'm not wanting to break it down fully because if I don't have the fucking fullest overstanding of it and I'm fucking lower on the scale, I don't want to be kicking shit that's going to fucking get blood on my hands by explaining some shit in a way to fuck somebody over. You know what I'm saying? I, and I ain't trying to kick fear right now either. What what I'm uh what I'm the point I'm trying to get across is I know from experience dealing with meditation and spirits that uh what's it called? The origin, like the way that uh, the way that Eastern continents be uh, oh shit, hold up, my bad, y'all. The way Eastern continents be perceiving the uh chakra system and, and shit like that uh, I've practiced that, like through like balancing my chakras while eyes closed meditating though, and I could literally see though, I could literally see lights being built up. I guess I I was probably just fucking. <clears throat> My energy was uh was creating new chakras or some shit like that. I don't know, but uh I could literally like eyes closed could see these fucking lights, bro. And ever since I started this spiritual shit, I was able to see like fucking uh shadow spirits in the fucking backgrounds at far away. But when this shit happened, they came up right fucking to me. Uh but I seen all these lights going up. And I got it all the way up almost to the crown. And I could just feel like immense joy. Like I was just so happy and fucking... Because the shit was about to reach the top and I was almost there. Like I knew... Like I felt like once it got to the top, like everything was just going to be perfect. Fucking Nirvana. But yeah. So that fucking feeling was building up. And then all of a sudden one of them came up and just swiped. They started with the fucking heart chakra. They didn't even give a fuck about none of the goddamn lower ones. Uh... They just stole the heart chakra. They skipped the fucking throat. They took the first eye and they took, uh, well, it didn't make it up to the crown. So I think they actually only took the heart and the third eye. But yeah, I ain't trying to scare nobody talking about no, about spirits and shit like that. I'm just 
sharing an experience that happened to me. These motherfuckers. That's why. That's why you gotta be careful, bro. Because these motherfuckers be. These motherfuckers be uh. Be in touch with deities through the meditation that uh. That owns that intellectual property. So anything that you, anything that you, any idea that you have off of that, or any fucking practice that you do involving that, is gonna be energy that gets to be siphoned to them. You know what I'm saying? So fuck all that. Uh, yeah, I just, I just wanted y'all to know that because uh, don't don't get fucking caught up caught up on some bullshit like that, bro. They be tricky out here, bro. That's why it's fucking hard to even get spiritual, man. There's so much misinformation out here, bro. That's why I thank God for the fucking soul group and goddamn Dolo and this motherfucker, dude. I'd still be lost as fuck without him, bro. And that's big facts, big facts, big facts. Everybody else out here is fucking retarded, bro. Literally. But anyways, uh, awareness. Number two, awareness. Now, you want to be consciously aware of things... But you want to be consciously aware of things that is not serving you. You want to be aware of, uh, consciously aware of things that is serving you. But you got to know where the fuck to draw the line, bro. This is where fucking equilibrium comes into play, bro. Because you don't want to be consciously aware of too much shit. Even if it is good things, bro. Being consciously aware of too much shit can be a detriment to yourself. So just remember that. You don't want to be consciously aware of too much shit. But you want to be aware of the things that is... Clearly not serving you in your fucking life, bro. Like, dead-end relationships, uh, different shit like that. Uh, yeah, be just be aware of what's not serving you and learn to detach. And uh, if, it, if it's meant to be detached from, you know what I'm saying? And also, always be aware of the fucking positive, man. Because I know how it is. Life gets goddamn hard, man. And trust me, I, I've, I've been through some shit in my life, for real. Been, been through some shit, uh... But we all here, bro. Everything always, somehow, finds a way to fucking work out, don't it? So what in the fuck is the point of worrying about it, bro? Like, I don't get it. Don't fucking worry, bro. There's no reason, like, there's no reason to fucking stress, bro. Even if you are on the fucking streets, bro. Like, literally, everything finds a way to be fine, dude. can find out how to be happy as living as a bum on the streets or that's uh, that's all up to your spirit though and you <coughs> you know what i'm saying if you if you ain't trying to <coughs> get <coughs> put the work back into get status back up and get money built back up to get back up standing on your fucking on two feet on fucking third dimensional status shit like then that's up to you bro but Fuck, man, nine times out of ten, bums is happier than most of these motherfuckers walking around in this bitch today, so. So, uh, yeah, you, you just gotta be right out here, man. Don't be, don't be fucking tripping. Be, <coughs> life get hard, but it fucking works out, man. So, always be goddamn aware of the positive shit, dude. Like, no matter what you're going through, man. There's always positive aspects to everything, dude. Like, 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 no matter what, bro, like. Like, for real, man. Even like you got you got a rough home life, then it's it's always just that. Like I remember this as a fucking kid, bro. Uh, when I wouldn't get the fucking game station taken away from me and shit like that. Uh, yeah, shit be fucking going bad at home and shit like that. You just go outside and fucking get that goddamn freshness and just fuck around and do random shit dude like i used to literally upload fucking real life minecraft videos like literally on my old youtube channel when i was fucking like 13 and uh yeah gaming yeah every like and you and like be aware of what you got too bro like goddamn man like shit me bro i ain't even in like perfect fucking standings right now bro like like i still got a fucking a job, I, uh, you know, I'm trying to detach from that shit, I'm trying to be walking on my fucking path, bro, making this art, and fucking helping people, and, and fucking doing my thing, bro, helping people heal, and uh, having people help heal me, too, but, uh, yeah, that's big facts, but, uh, but yeah, man, be aware of that shit, dude, because, like I said, I ain't got everything. Like, I live in a fucking camper right now. Still got that fucking job, dude. But, goddamn, bro. 
I got fucking everything I need. I got more than what the fuck I need, bro. Sometimes I be saying, like, God damn, I be got too much shit sometimes. But, for real, that's just because I'm, like, non-material at all, bro. Like, I, I really, like, to to another person, they would say, oh, wow, this, this motherfucker ain't got shit. But to me, it's like, God damn, bro, like, too much. <laughs> I need to get rid of some shit, sell some shit, man. But yeah, bro, be aware, man. Be aware of everything, bro, because negative shit you definitely need to let go of. Positive shit, you fucking hold on to it until it don't serve you no more. And then let the fuck go, bro. Let the fuck go. No more getting stuck in shit, bro. No more getting fucking stuck in shit, man. It's not how we starting off this fucking year, bro. That's why I'm trying to fucking help my people, dog. Like, e even though I don't know everything, I know, like, who I am and what the fuck I'm meant to be doing on this earth. I'm, I'm meant to be fucking literally helping people. Everyone comes to me with their problems. Always. Even old people. Ever since I was a kid. Comes up to me and asks me for advice and shit like that. Always. <laughs> but, uh. But check it out. Check it out now. Yeah, so be aware of the right shit, y'all. And don't become too fucking consciously aware. Because, goddamn, check the internet and fucking check out <coughs> check out fucking conscious community real quick. And you'll fucking see, goddamn, too much awareness uh, is not fucking... Is not what you want. Fucking too much awareness leads to goddamn mental retardation, apparently. I don't get it, but, uh, check it out. <coughs> Number three is resonation. Resonation. You need to know what the fuck is right for your spirit and what the fuck is not right for your goddamn spirit. And this can be strengthened over time because I know how it is when you first start out uh, fucking getting used to everything and, like, the way that you start fucking perceiving reality. Like, when you first jump into... <laughs> jump into spirituality and shit like that and when and when she, and when you can know that you're actually seeing progress and like shit is like getting really fucking wild yeah <coughs> that's that's when that's when you'll know bro it's just it's just a feeling bro there's not really nothing i could do to really explain fucking resonation man like besides like some google ass fucking definition bro but but literally, man, it's just a feeling like if you know, you know, you got to get into meditation. That's why it's number one, bro. You, uh, you got to fucking get into meditation and fucking utilize all this shit and it wraps all in together, man. You know what I'm saying? So you need to you need to be obviously surrounding yourself with shit that you do resonate with, shit that you don't resonate with. You get the fuck rid of, man. And always stay moving as a goddamn spirit. Don't fucking get too goddamn settled in this motherfucker and get fucking stagnated and fucking stuck. God damn it. We're fucking moving on in 2021. Fucking year five in this bitch. But check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and go past that one. Because that's not really nothing I can say. It's just a feeling. If you know, you know. I, I, but, uh... Four, letting go. Letting go is a big thing, bro. And it, sometimes it can be very hard because uh, because of the fucking obligations that you've set up for yourself before you start your spiritual journey type shit. And uh, what's it called? And also, like, some people, like, I was one of these type of people. You always want to cater to how someone else uh, is feeling and seeing you and your actions and shit like that. So letting go can be hard, especially when it's people that's close to you, like family members, friends. That's uh, easy, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Fr friends is easy to get rid of, bro. If you're fucking, if you're strong, you know what I mean, dude. Like me, I've always been like a loner type dude. I, I, uh, I really don't fuck with other people. Like, <clears throat> never did. I had a small group of friends in high school, but they all fucking betrayed me every goddamn last one of them. So I, I just, uh. Stay the fuck out the way, bro. Never really partied. We didn't even, like, we used to hang out a good bit back in high school, me and my homies, but, like, yeah. Now, it's way different. 
but yeah, I, I've always been the the loner type. I could always tell I was different since I was a kid too. Though there's there a lot of a lot of different things that gave me hints as to what the fuck. Like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. And I don't want to get too deep into it because that's like personal shit right now. But uh, yeah, bro, you you, just, you need to let you need to let go of certain shit, bro. And I get that letting go of certain shit, like bad habits, can be hard sometimes. But you you just gotta you just gotta put in that work, bro, and keep grinding. Every day is a fucking uphill battle, especially if you're fucking pretty new to this shit. So, uh, yeah, and you need to learn what <coughs> what you need to be letting go of, bro. Don't be letting go of shit too early that could have actually fucking benefited you in some way down the fucking road, bro. Be able to <coughs> be able to have that fucking uh that like pre knowledge. I don't know what the fuck you'd call it, bro. Fuck this. Uh, English shit, I don't give a damn. Yeah, uh, but yeah, fuck, fuck that. You need, you need to have a uh, pre knowledge to know where to know where something is gonna be going. You know what I'm saying? So you, you need that. That ties into being aware once again. But uh, my bad, y'all. Fuck, I was trying to get that damn curtain to fix, but it wouldn't. But yeah, so let go of the right shit, man. Don't be fucking up and fucking yourself over just thinking that you gotta detach from goddamn everything man every everything in moderation dude like like it's okay to be around people sometimes bro that's what that's what i do man like once every like few months or something i'll go around like one fucking person that i used to hang out with or like chill with this shorty that i went to high school with that that'd be uh coming over sometimes but yeah uh, so yeah, know what the fuck you need to be letting go of and let go of the right shit, damn it. Because fuck, it's time to move on. Your spirit trying to tell you, man, it's time to move the fuck on. We're stuck in a goddamn pattern, bro. You got too much fucking weight on your spirit. You fucking feel down and goddamn depressed and fucked up all the time. It's time to let the fuck go. Especially for shit that ain't helping you. Cause goddamn, what the fuck is the point? But okay, <coughs> I'm gonna get fucking get rolling in this bitch. All right, number five. After letting go, we got learning to hype yourself up, bro. And by learning to hype yourself up, I'm basically just saying that you need to fucking build a relationship with your damn self once again, bro. Like right now, it is not fucking selfish at all to be goddamn. To be fucking working on yourself, bro. Because god damn, life is getting fucking crazy, man. Like, I'm I'm literally ready for fucking... For shit to literally hit the fan any day now, bro. Like, like not on some, like, nuclear type shit and everybody's just fucking wiped, bro. But, like, I, I think I think everything's gonna fucking go wild, wild here, uh, here pretty soon. But, uh, I'm fucking ready for it. But yeah, it's not selfish to fucking, to goddamn build a relationship with yourself and be by yourself, especially if you fucking deal with a lot of people that's around you that is goddamn putting you down all the time, bro. And I know how it is not being able to speak up for yourself because that's one of the fucking biggest issues that I've had on this path is fucking learning how to speak up for myself because goddamn, anytime I would as a kid, I'd get fucked over, you know what I mean? Uh... Speak up in school, I get looked at like I'm stupid. You know what I mean? But low-key, I solved the math problem, and it just wasn't the way that they fucking wanted me to. Like, you know what I mean? Just, like, dumb shit like that. And, like, home life and shit. But, yeah, man, you need that fucking relationship with yourself. Fuck what anybody else got going on right now. Now is not the time to worry about what anybody else got fucking going on, bro. I don't know why y'all are still watching these, like, celebrities and fucking government officials and shit like that fuck that bro it's time for you bro it's time for you it's time for all of us to fucking rise up in this bitch man i don't give no fucks so you need to be getting in the mirror daily well i can't tell you what you need to be doing i can't tell you what you need to be doing but what i need to be doing is getting in the mirror every day that's what works for me bro like like i'm just telling y'all things that has worked for me on this fucking path you know what i mean bro 
But, uh, I mean, if it can help somebody, that's fucking great, dude. But, uh, yeah, learn, learn to fucking hype yourself up, dude. Get every, get up every day instead of fucking laying, laying around all in the bed, goddamn, uh, fucking, what's it called? Letting your ego sit there and make excuses for you all day. Uh, learn to fucking talk to yourself. Get, get the fuck up. Get out of bed. That's what's worked for me, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I gotta be hard on myself or I won't fucking listen. Like, my ego will not listen if I'm not hard on myself. So, uh, so yeah, I, I got to, uh, I got to be hard on myself because that's, like, that's what I've went through, like, majority of my life is just people being, like, overly hard on me for no fucking reason at all. Like, but yeah, so, so that's what works for me. And that might change in the future, like, once I fucking fully heal, like, inner child trauma and shit like that and, like, past life regrets and all type of shit like that, I, you know progress baby we making progress man there's so many aspects to this fucking spiritual shit i fucking love it dude like it's always some new shit to learn bro like regardless but uh yeah so damn bro put in that fucking work man that's what i do all the time i get up in the mirror and i go fucking stupid man i don't give a fuck what anybody in society or anybody else fucking thinks of me dog like i will talk to myself right in front of you Damn, this motherfucker be like that. Stupid. Nah, nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. I, w I wouldn't be on some on some shit like that. I don't, I don't be trying to cast stones at nobody. But, uh. But, yeah, bro. I, I'll be talking to myself right in front of motherfuckers, bro. I don't give a fuck what they say is crazy. I mean, these motherfuckers is living backwards. So, learn to hype yourself up, man. Get in the mirror. Fucking build that relationship to yourself. Question yourself. Goddamn. Question why you're feeling this way. Why you're thinking this way fucking preach positivity to yourself look man we just goddamn woke up bro fucking goddamn sun fucking shining goddamn fucking trees out here nothing nothing is fucking trees out here nothing is fucking rigid it's just all fucking random and natural goddamn flow no fucking hard angles and type shit goddamn we got fucking we got uh motherfucking leaves and shit out here man fucking Clouds in the sky, all time. You know what I'm saying, bro? Just anything, dog. Like, fuck, man. I woke up. This ain't, this ain't me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just using this as an example. But damn, woke up and fucking had them. Uh, what's it called? Some money in your pocket that you forgot about or some shit. But that's the thing, though. You you need to learn how to not. Fuck, man. I'll be trying to. I'm not trying to tell y'all what y'all need to be doing. But what has worked for me is getting up and fucking being appreciative for goddamn everything. Being appreciative for everything, man, and fucking talking to yourself, questioning yourself, fucking positive self-talk when it's needed, and be hard on yourself when it's needed. I, I think that I think that is fair. When the shit is needed, everything in moderation, like they say. But, uh, alright, off of that one now, let's go, uh... <laughs> Let's go number six in this bitch. Uh, you are not your thoughts. Your thoughts are not yours. You are not your emotions. And sometimes your emotions are not yours. But yeah, sometimes your uh, thoughts are not yours either. So you need you need to uh, you need to know that for sure. Your thoughts uh cannot be yours, bro. So so you just gotta know uh. You just got to know that, and you got to learn how to differentiate between the fucking ego, your higher self, fucking external shit that's being kicked your way, that you're just fucking picking up from fucking vibrations and shit like that. <clears throat> and, and this and this will get better over time as well. Uh, you know what I mean? People, <clears throat> people who's, who's brand new to this shit is definitely not going to get this shit right away, because I know for a goddamn fact I fucking didn't. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but it all... But, I was trying to meditate a lot with shit on my mind, bro. I was be trying to do fucking uh, manifestation, fucking meditations, uh, cause I was fucking dead broke, like mad worried. Like my spiritual awakening type shit came at a time when I was like one of my lowest. Right after a breakup, like shit was just going really fucking wrong. Goddamn. <clears throat> uh, ha had a couple sh uh, things happen. And yeah, I was just at a really low point, bro. Like, 
This this ain't the lowest I've been in my life though. I've been lower than that before. But it came then. But yeah, I definitely didn't understand this shit at first. So just know it, everything gets better with time, bro. If you put if you really care about this shit and you putting your fucking feelings and emotions into it and dedication into it, bro, it, it will come in time, I promise you. Yeah, so it's just <coughs> you got <coughs> you got to learn to differentiate between your goddamn self, the ego, and my fucking external shit that's coming in, bro. And that goes with uh, emotions too, and knowing why you're feeling the way you're feeling and shit like that. So, and I want you to know though, you have fucking full control. Like, you literally have full control, bro. Don't think that just because a thought popped up, like it's automatically fucking. Uh, especially if you be feeling negative about it. I don't know. That can that can go in a couple of ways because you could be it could be your thought and fucking spirits be projecting negativity onto you, making you want to feel negative about that thought so you don't pursue it. Or it could be a fucking negative ass thought form from them that you actually feel negative about. You know what I'm saying? So there's just a lot of aspects to everything, bro. So you just you gotta be careful out this bitch. Don't get caught up. Your thoughts is not yours. A lot of the time. But okay, number seven. We need to be... Uh, God damn it, man. I keep fucking trying to tell y'all what the hell y'all need to be doing. Oh, shit. But okay, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your thoughts... Oh, fuck, I'm done. Number seven. Understanding what you are receiving. And that goes into a lot of things. That goes... On many levels, understand what you're receiving uh, in the physical, what you see with your eyes, understand what you're receiving fucking mentally and uh, emotionally too, uh, with the thought forms and the emotions, you know what I'm saying? Un understand what you're receiving, bro, because, because damn, man, there's so much fucking misinformation out here, number one, that's that's a very big problem on the, on the internet and shit right now. Oh, damn, it sounded like somebody was at my door, my bad. But, uh, yeah, there's so much mi misinformation across the internet right now. That's, like, a very big problem, like, that I'm seeing, and it's just becoming even fucking worse right now for some reason. But, uh, yeah, we need to, we gotta be understanding what the fuck we is receiving, because a lot of shit be fucking bum-ass shit, but shit, everything is different for everyone, you know what I'm saying? Some people might be on that fucking wavelength where that's, what they're meant to learn in this lifetime, bro, and they just got to keep sticking on that shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? But I'm trying to fucking get up out this bitch, so I'm going to leave you in the past if you keep fucking around. But, uh, what's it called? But, yeah, we, we got we got a lot of different shit going on, bro, with the fucking symbolism that we see, uh, oh, goddamn. Fun finna die in this bitch. But, uh, yeah. We, we got a lot of shit coming in. Let me grab this charger, y'all. Grab this motherfucker. Well, hold on. I'll just leave y'all here. My bad, y'all. I'm back. Love to be chill. Y'all damn. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Getting back into my fucking understanding what the hell you're receiving in this bitch. Understand what the hell you're receiving because, we, like I said, we got a lot of uh, symbolism and shit going on. Uh, symbolism and shit like that going on throughout everywhere, bro. Logos, fucking, uh, we got the shit in logos, we got the shit in fucking, uh, clothing brands, 
we got the shit in uh what's it called just the layout of the fucking cities and shit that we be in and fucking bridges and fucking monuments that they be having in these big ass fucking churches and buildings and fucking having all these churches on like every corner and shit like that like like I, I'm not too deep into the symbolism shit so I can't tell you too much bro but I know Every time I walk into a motherfucking grocery store, bro, my energy fucking radar just be going crazy, dog. Like, literally, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, bro. I be, I be getting, like, picking up the craziest shit from grocery stores, man. And every time I drive under a bridge, too, bro, I was literally thinking about a ritual to, like, get myself out of that situation, bro. Because every time I, uh, I've noticed now, every time I drive up under a bridge... That I fucking start feeling really low all of a sudden, like so, like I like I'm I'm not rising above a circumstance or some shit like that. Like it's some type of fucking spell or some shit. But everyone knows, unless you're fucking super dumb, like super sheep, bro. Everyone knows who's a little bit into conspiracy theories and shit like that. Y'all already know that uh that they done been using fucking symbolism and goddamn uh. Uh, symbolism and subliminal messaging in uh, what's it called? Disney fucking cartoons and shit like that. We've been knowing that for a minute now, right? And uh, they they make you fucking do things. Uh, like as a kid, it makes you think things that go straight to your subconscious that you don't even understand what you're fucking seeing up front. You know what I mean? It hits you on a whole nother level, and people don't understand that. And uh, but yeah, fucking Disney be it uh. Disney being with all the big rich motherfuckers in the world, like, and be affiliated with fucking government officials and shit, and, uh, like, fucking, uh, the fucking bankers and shit like that, and, uh, and motherfuckers, uh, don't, don't think that, uh, don't think that, uh, subliminal messaging shit be on the fucking news and shit like that, don't be on the shit that they, uh, symbolism and subliminal messaging, don't be on the shit that, uh, the government be on, bruh. And I'm like, what the fuck is y'all talking about, bro? It, it's so crazy to the point that it goes not only to the fucking way they set shit up, the fucking images that they bring in to fucking bring into picture, the way they've got the fucking people standing, the way they fucking, you know, it, it goes deep, bro. The fucking hand positions and different shit like that that they be doing, bro. And, uh, what's it called? Yeah, it go, it goes deep on on that level, and then you got it on this fucking aspect too. You got uh, you got what that what uh others would call buzzwords, I guess. You call it, I don't know if that's what they'd call it buzzwords. I've heard this term. I think it's used for uh, I guess words that trigger people. But I don't know if that would be an appropriate term to use for this. But what I just call them is fucking keystone words. That, that's that's a term that I came up with with a, uh, for it last night while I was uh, writing this shit up. Is uh pretty much like they like they got they got a narrate uh what the fuck how you say that word they got a narration going like that like they're speaking to you and shit on the news or whatever uh and they, and they got a, a typical fucking not typical, but they but they got a they got a pattern and a flow to how they're kicking shit, bro. Y'all gotta pay attention, man. They got it's like fucking what's it called? It's like it just triggers something in your subconscious and you don't even know it. So you just be like getting you just be getting energies projected onto you because of this fucking spell casting shit that they be got got going on with this fucking wild ass language because we just be fucking I don't know, it's weird. But uh but yeah, uh, I call it, I call it a keystone fucking uh, keystone word because if you know what a keystone is, it's pretty much like a fucking it's like an arch like you would see over a fucking gate, like like an arch you would see over a fucking uh, stone gate or some type shit. Like this, like this, is some old school shit. Like it, they, 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 it's like a balancing act. You, you pretty much fucking uh, got it built up on on flat rocks from the bottom. But they but they start to curve inwards, you know what I'm saying? And uh then you got that one fucking keystone brick that goes right in the fucking middle. That keystone fucking keyword fucking piece that just go right there that hold up the whole fucking uh sentence or the fucking paragraph shit that they be on. 
So you know what I mean? That they're building off of fucking that that one that one fucking uh, big energy, and everything else is pretty much just fucking babble, mindless talk, fucking goddamn just shooting flames. And and uh, they be hitting you with these keystone words, and you be not even realizing it because of the tone they use and the way they kick it out and shit like that. That you're just getting projected with like fear and fucking doubt energy and fucking depression energy and fucking worrying energy and shit like that. So yeah, be fucking careful out here. It's best to just fucking say fuck entertainment and goddamn create your own source of happiness, guys. That's what I say. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, understand what you're receiving. And six and seven t uh, ties into each other uh, pretty well. But another thing I wanted to say on these two is uh, upon understanding what you're receiving, also know that uh, also know that sometimes a fucking negative thought form needs to be thought and sometimes a negative feeling needs to be felt for you to feel that and let it go but you you always want to be fucking you always want to be feeling shit or thinking shit and then letting it go unless it is something that you truly want to fucking uh like like that something that favors you so well and that you really like so much that fucking you would want it to be manifested down here uh for you so when you get when you get those type of thoughts or feelings, this is when when you fucking hone in on that, bro, and you fucking st strengthen it, give fuel to the fire. You know what I'm saying? Add weight to it, add density to it. But uh, yeah, if it ain't if it ain't nothing you want uh, wanting to manifest, let that shit fucking go, bro. And uh, but yeah, sometimes sometimes you need to feel that shit for a second. Sometimes you need to think that shit for a second, and then let it the fuck go. You just gotta have a little bit of discernment. It'll come with time, though. Don't worry, y'all. And, uh, number eight, we got motherfucking program your surroundings and your subconscious mind. And there's many ways you can do this. The best at explaining the subconscious mind, I'm not anywhere close to an expert with the, uh, subconscious mind yet. So I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna fucking send y'all over to damn Dolo's channel again. Dolo the pilot, man. I'll put his fucking channel name in the description. Uh, Y'all can go check that shit out. But, uh... But, yeah. He's got plenty of videos on, on the subconscious. And, uh... You can learn how to program that shit. There's a, there's a lot of different things you can do. I just fucking... I'm literally having a hard time. I'm having a fucking brain fart right now. Because I'm getting... I'm literally getting fucking spiritually attract, attacked. They're trying to... Throw off my fucking thought forms. That's why I had to fucking re-record this shit they done fucked my phone now they gotta fuck with me and i ain't gonna let them fucking win so check it out uh but yeah program your surroundings man no matter what the fuck you're doing bro if you're goddamn everything in moderation like i like i said bro uh that's the main thing but pro, but whatever you is into bro program that shit man talk to your fucking water before you drink it bro because everything is for fucking living being bro just like you is you know what i'm saying like er like everything is alive it's just a different form of fucking energy than what you is right now bro so you gotta program your surroundings so it should be going in your favor bro and everything always be going in my favor because everything that is in my reality i have control over and i fucking program my shit you know what i'm saying bro everything dog so that so it goes deep on many levels with that shit so uh so yeah, just program your fucking surroundings. Talk to your shit and let it fucking know what you're using it for. You don't need it. You don't need it at all. You're just using it to motherfucking sustain you on this astral travel real quick. Don't need it at all though, bro. You chilling, cooling in the cut. What a bad bitch from Tacoma. She giving me brain. Dome. Aroma. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm fucking fool. Fully, fully. The coolie, coolie. But, hey, check it out. Uh, Yeah, pro program your surroundings, y'all. That, that's, that's, that's what y'all... That's what y'all is meant to be on right now. Because, goddamn, if you don't program this shit, it sure as will fucking program you. And that's 100% facts, bro. But like I was saying too, though it don't it don't matter what the fuck you're into, bro. Everything on moderation. Like th this ain't me. I ain't speaking out of personal experience, but 
God damn, if you want to go and hit a fucking crack pipe fucking uh, once every couple of years or some shit like that, I mean, fuck. If that's if that's what you want to do, motherfucker, go ahead. But goddamn, be sure you gonna fucking program that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like with me smoking this goddamn reefer madness right here. I intend to use this smoke, smoke. It's light and fucking formless, pretty much. I'm using this shit to learn about my goddamn self as a spirit, to lighten me up in all situations, to heal me and also bring me spiritual experiences. Gang, gang. That's what that's what I'm using this shit for. So it's programmed. I got my motherfucking energy signature on it. So if I had no hand in making this bowl, and I had no hand in growing this marijuana right here, it doesn't fucking matter because now I fucking programmed it. You know what I'm saying? So... <coughs> Yeah. So you need we definitely need to be programming our fucking surroundings, y'all. Cause this shit will fuck you sideways if you don't. You have control of your entire reality, everyone. You just need to step back into your power and stop giving it away to all this dumbass shit, bro. I'm telling you, influence is powerful. What you pay attention to, what you give your time away to is powerful. That's why you always see these fucking, <coughs> these celebrities and shit like that. You take a picture of them from fucking, when they was like back in high school or some shit, to now. It's like, what the fuck, bro? If you know how to pick it up, you'll really know what I mean. Like, high school, low vibration, not looking fucking... That good. I mean, or even out of high school. Like, shit, look at me right now, bro. Nobody pays attention to me, so I'm fucking broke out. Probably fucking or a week right now and all types of shit. But, uh, motherfuckers who's gained a lot of pe popularity in this realm, aka celebrities that be pulling fucking millions of damn views and shit like that. Like, millions, millions. You can just take a look at them and tell. Look, take a look at them from when they was in their 20s to when they was in their 50s. Yeah, you see some of them that get burnt out just because they be doing a fuck ton of drugs, but but most of the time you see uh you see fucking people who actually blossom and fucking once that attention is being paid and that influence is being gave off and you fucking have the power to change people's minds about shit. Yeah. You get massive amounts of energy. That's why that's why you see fucking, that's why you see, uh, all these rich and famous people, uh, all these rich and famous people, it seems like they never fucking stop moving, bro. They never stop goddamn working, never stop fucking grinding, never, never just chill for a second. Like, they, they just got, they just getting blasted with energy. But hell yeah, y'all. I'm wrapping this shit up. Uh, this definitely wasn't the best fucking delivery. I was goddamn, like I said, y'all gonna fucking watch me fumble fucking trying to damn recreate the damn, recreate the first video I fucking made uh, while trying not to fucking completely recreate it and try to make it fucking, make the delivery the same. So the execution was probably fucking weak. It was definitely a lot different in my head. Uh, but yeah, I don't give a fuck either way, dude. I still feel like this shit will help somebody. Somebody who's newer on the path. You get them on to fucking dolo and then they'll really be flowing, dog. Because it's time for us to stand the fuck up. <clears throat> but I love y'all. Be good. Take care of your motherfucking selves. Damn it. <clears throat> Take care of your damn selves. Be good. Don't get fucking stuck. We're moving on now, guys. <coughs> We're moving. <coughs>
moving on. <laughs>